today I have a tour of Chambers Street slash City Hall or Brooklyn Bridge City Hall um, on the Jay-Z 4, 5, and 6 lines as it says on the side over there or the 4, 5, 6 J and Z. I am starting this tour from Lafayette Street and Foley Square and Center Street. I am uh, going to be doing this one with a bit of a different FOV. What the hell are they? Why are these guys all lined up? Does this have to do with that bank and stuff that I've been hearing about? Just my... Uh, over there, I noticed uh, these like uh, houses over there. These, uh, I think those were abandoned entrances. Those like, I don't know what they're called. Like newspaper stands, they look like that. But I think those are abandoned subway entrances because those look like old uh, interborough entrances. So I think that's what that is. So uh, I'm going to enter the station now. The area looks really cool. I'm doing this uh, early in the morning because uh, less people. And uh, something I noticed about this entrance, uh, it is taller than usual. Just an uh, interesting note up there with that one. And that's a really unique because I don't usually see them like that that is like proper Minecraft scale okay so uh, here I am in the station I'm now going to switch the FOV to be uh, fully zoomed out uh, you know just so I can get a better view of the station so these are closed of course exit fully square and uh Mosaic work up here, BMT era stuff, or uh, dual contracts era stuff. There's a view of the mezzanine, or of uh, this part of the mezzanine. We're going to start with the J and the Z in this one. So right here, this goes to the downtown platform. Or no, this goes to the central platform, uh, right there. And if we come over here, another uh, bank of turnstiles there. And then you have the uh, other set of uh, turnstiles here. These are the uh, spinning ones. And is that? Oh, that one's uh, exit only. All right, so I'm going to take these ones because it's uh, easier, easier to uh, swipe while filming. Oh, not this shit again. There we go. Okay, so that way goes to the four, five, and six. So you can see. And uh, this way is the Queens bound, Brooklyn and Queens bound J and Z. I am going to go on the downtown side uh, because I already had a look around and I think it'd be better to use the downtown side for the tour. Okay, so this is to Broad Street, so Broad Street's the last stop on these lines, on the J and the Z. Interesting, there's like a deck here, just noticed. So here we are at the uh, BMT platforms. These ones are very uh, eroded. And uh, I find it interesting though, because there's all, there's all this like height variation in the ceiling because part of it is under a building and part of it isn't. So because it's much deeper, because it's a BMT station that came after the Interborough built. It's uh, oh, there's some staircases over there. There, now you can see those. So, yeah, this is a BMT station that came after the Interborough built its uh, initial subway line. And hold on, just a exit sign there. It's really close to the uh, Interborough subway over there, though, but uh, because the Interborough had its lines around first. The BMT had to build its lines 
quite a bit uh, deeper. And of course, this uh, station, notice the ceiling height difference over here, is holding up a building. So because of that, why is there an X there? That's uh, kind of strange. Uh, so because of that, you have all this uh, weird stuff with the ceiling. And interesting thing about this platform, other than those slopes at the end, is this was supposed to be like the BMT's major hub. But it kind of failed at uh, its job. And it's obviously not a major hub because you can see, look how empty the platform is. Yes, it is uh, early in the morning. If you consider, what is it, like 6.30 now, 6.40? If you consider that early. But around rush hour, getting uh, we're getting to rush hour at this point. It's a pretty dead station. So unfortunately, it did not fulfill that role. And that is uh, also partially because once the systems merged, there was uh, less of a need to fulfill that role. Why would you switch to a J? Those broken speakers are really annoying. But nobody would switch to a J when the Interborough subway is already nearby and accomplishes the same purpose because at this stop you're only going to stops the four and the five also go to and i think there's a a train so uh let's just uh come over here goes up a slope which uh, I'll explain I'll explain what the deal with that is in uh, just a second uh, once we get over here, which I'd like to do. Uh, also, it has like these uh, murals right there. So those are meant to represent the Brooklyn Bridge. I just want to see how it looks in this area. Quite cool. There's this whole really cool. I don't want to picture it. Yeah, I'm going to grab a picture of that. station is really cool and this area down here I mean it, it goes underappreciated but look how open this space is I was hoping to catch uh, a J going the other way because I'm sure it must look pretty cool from up here that whole open area then it just comes out from the darkness over there but uh, that will uh, oh no that won't do it because there's uh, some stuff to explain with uh, this platform. So why does it have this like whole slope deal going on? Well, first of all, it goes to Fulton Street. But there was uh, something a bit more interesting in mind with this station. So they originally planned to have subway trains crossing the Brooklyn Bridge and that never happened. They didn't get the funding to do that, so that's why you have this abandoned section in the middle. And that's why the station is now basically a failure. Uh, that's the other side. I thought I was going to catch one. So that was the deal with that whole section in the middle. They were supposed to go across the Brooklyn Bridge, but they didn't.
So you would have had trains going across like uh, with the Manhattan Bridge. So now let's uh, head up here and have a look at this mezzanine. And I'm going to actually loop around and uh, then head back to the other one. There's just like a view up there. So come out here. Other uh, section of the station. This area is a bit more busy than the other area. So people run for the train here because they take forever to show up. So can't really blame them. Come over here. Have the elevator and let me go around uh, for this section actually. Okay. Come over here. Old door. Some artwork here. This is definitely original. Pretty cool. Of course, nobody will uh, pay attention to that. So, again, underutilized, but I'm sure uh, people probably looked at it back when it was opened originally. And uh, signs here. And uh, down there is the station. Okay, so now I want to head out here and uh, have a look at the mezzanine. Although I guess for this tour, I don't need to waste. Ooh, that's, that's kind of spooky. You stand right above the abandoned platform there and the tracks. I kind of just went into that room. Okay. So uh, here's the other uh, J train entrance. Hangs it out here. And uh, here's the other mezzanine. This one's uh, more grand than the other one was. Comes out under what I believe is a, a courthouse. Very fancy design. Very high ceilings. Very cold. came in through or came out then you have this uh, old font from when it first opened and where is this like where exactly is this entrance okay just across from the city that's cool Did he just say sp He's right. Spring is five days away and it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. So that's going to be uh, one last look at this mezzanine. Then I'm heading over to the four, five, and a six section. The interborough section. Wonder why one of them says no entry. Here we go again. I can't swipe with my left hand. This one's dead. And that's me trying to swipe. I cannot swipe at all anymore. It used to be great swiping, missed a sign. And now I cannot get a swipe on the first try anymore. Okay, so here's the mezzanine to the four, five, and six. 
So it looks like this just goes straight down to the platform, uptown in the Bronx, four, five, six. And then you go this way, downtown into Brooklyn. So let's head this way. I want to see that passageway first because I'll have to loop back. this sign. Okay, so if we come down here, and if I zoom it in, you can like see the actual size of this place. There you go. So if I come over here, there's just uh, this little passageway, which goes over to a different part of the station, it seems like. At the six. Oh yeah. So with that one you can uh, see straight down to the six. Okay. I'm going to have to swipe again. Don't mind. Filled up the card. Oh, this one's really cool though. Oh, do they have this here? Whatever this material is, is my favorite. I did not know they had this here. Very cool. Let's exit out here and uh, have a little look around outside. Wow, this design on the wall is so nice. Brooklyn Bridge. This is one of my favorite stations in the subway. This wall design is so nice and grand. Exit, Municipal Building, and Brooklyn Bridge. Let's see about that. Cold sets in. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this exits right across from where the J is. All right. There's the Brooklyn Bridge. Come back down here. It's nice view. Almost said sweet view. That's a nice view. Okay, let's, uh, let's go left here to have a look at this area. I mean, some floor tiles are coming apart, but it is still very... Okay, this is a bit dilapidated. <laughs> but I mean, it's nice. You have to give credit where it's due. Just random things like these bars are also cool. Okay, what is going on here? Why does it go down? Is that one? Are they all blue? No, they're not. Look, that one's green and that one's blue. Okay, so this passage goes to Frankfurt Street and Park Row, and Nassau Street. I thought Nassau Street was a bit further though. Closer to Fulton Streets. Uh, there's the passageway. So there's two over here. See where they go. I thought Nassau Street was further east.
Okay, so now we're over here. Sun is rising. Then the other one is over there. Yeah, Nassau Street must be way out over there. Wow, this tour has been going for 20 minutes. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Closer look at that. Very nice. Just a sign on that side, not on this side. Okay, we come back to the stairs here and we'll head back up the stairs and go over to the other side of this awesome station. As I uh, do start to get a bit tired from uh, holding this for 21 minutes, but I'll finish the tour, of course. Storage room there. random why is this one I'm just curious what do they look like from behind okay that's interesting so there's literally just a random solo metro card machine over there on its own alright let's go over here Oh, that's cool. Kind of a neat view there. View there. Passageway over there the paid area. Okay. Here we have another exit. What the heck? That's weird. I sort of want to touch it, but I won't. So we have another mezzanine here. Cool elevator sign. Didn't know they had elevators when this was built because that was definitely put there when this was built. You can tell because it has the uh, old IRT terracotta above it. Terracotta in a subway station in New York City like that means that it was built before 1910 or uh, before the dual contracts, which would be before 1913, huh, there's the elevator kiosk. That's the word, kiosk. So here's the elevator kiosk. Change to that, yeah. So they're called elevator kiosks, or they're called kiosks. Fucking tall buildings here. I feel like a tourist in my own city. Okay. So we're gonna come back here, check the other passageway that I missed. And re-enter the paid area of the subway. So let's look at this mezzanine here. And I'm going to make my way back into the subway. What the fuck? Can't go into that one. There we go. Got it first try for once. Now that design is like so weird there. Exit, City Hall Park. All right. 
now let's go down to the platform where I will make my way back up to the other passageway and then I'll end the video. station uh, ends over here. Yep. End of the platform. Oh, uh, yeah, we lost it. Alright, so now I'm just going to make my way up to the end of the station and finish the video there. Got some hanging signs there. Just some more signs. This platform is also pretty cool. Again, a bit uh, dilapidated. But, there's some cracks here. But, uh, Still nice. What are these? Oh, okay. Okay, so this was the uh, one that I came in through. and then ends over here. They have a bunch of weird pillar placements with this station, I notice. A lot of the pillars kind of swap sides a lot. Uh, done with this tour. 30 minutes. Are they parallel? Yeah, they are sort of parallel. Huh, so it's also on a hill. It's also a bit of a slope. And then there is one more exit that I need to cover in this video. It's over here. So with, uh, with this exit, downtown and Brooklyn 45, actually, I think if I exit here, I'll save myself some time and money. That's the uptown of the Bronx. And then that exit there. And then this. Don't worry, I'll cover that entrance in just a second. So this goes over to the J and the Z. Sometimes the Z. Exit Lafayette Street and uh, Reed Street, Federal Plaza. And then this just comes up here. And we are back where we started, but the tour is not done because I did skip an entrance.
see back where we started. into the subway and then there's one last entrance that I need to cover which is over here so if we go this way then it's the one that we skipped Right here, exits, and we will just finish the video over here. Downtown Brooklyn, exit out there, world's narrowest entrance, and the turnstiles, machines. Where the hell does this go? There's two ways to go. Let's go this way. So where does this come out? I saw the other one just went straight. Yeah, where is this? Definitely not City Hall. Oh, are we on the other side? What? Oh, okay. I see. We are on the other side of Center Street. And then the other one, yep, it's right over here. As I thought it would be. Yeah, one's out here. Okay, that's the tour. Damn, that's a view. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to this channel if you're watching in the future to see how it looked in the past then there you go and i'm saying goodbye subscribe if you enjoyed